I'm coming at the haters, they're making me more famous Cause my videos got more force than Darth Vader go Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Turkish Delight, back with another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Thank you all for joining me today. Before jumping into it, I want to give a shout out to Brandon Brown, who is today's featured commenter. He inspired this video topic, so I gotta give credit where credit is due. If you would like a shot at having your comment shouted out, all you gotta do is subscribe, give this video a like, and leave a comment below. If I like it, you just might see your comment shouted out at the start of the next video. Awesome suggestion, Brandon. I appreciate the support. Well, everyone got their wish, and Ewok Hunt was made permanent with this most recent Season 2 update. It was a temporary mode for so long, being put on and off every couple of weekends, but after some tweaks and popular demand, it is back to stay. But while hunting Ewoks on Endor is cool, I want to explore other potential planet locations and playable species we could see in a permanent, updated version of the mode, which would strictly be called Hunt. Before beginning my top 5 list, I want to shout out another Battlefront YouTuber who has already done a video on this topic. The Aussie Jedi has put out a video that covers some really neat ideas we could see, and I highly encourage you check out his video, which I will leave linked in the description. Leave him a comment and tell him Turkish Delight sent you. For the sake of not repeating him and being as original as possible, I will be covering 5 other versions of Hunt we could see, so you can kind of consider this an extension of his video. But with that said, let's get into the top 5. Starting off, we have a hunt mode involving a species that did actually make the Ozzy Jedi's list, though the inclusion of a new species makes it worth noting. Jawa Hunt would be a fun remake of the hunt mode on Tatooine in the classic Battlefront 2, pitting Tusken Raiders, also known as Sand People, against the impish Jawas. My ideas for the mode would be something like this. One team would start with 18 Jawas and the other with 2 Tuskens. Tuskens hunt down the Jawas until they're all eliminated, with the Jawas trying to survive until their Sandcrawler transport arrives to pick them up. For weapons, the Jawas would have the CA-87 shock blasters, and the Tuskens would have their Cycler rifles, both of which would be making a return from Battlefront 2015. The Tuskens would also have a melee ability where they would use their rifle as a club. The map would be the Jundlin Wastes from Battlefront 2015, though I could also see Moss Eisley being a great urban warground for this mode. I think this version of Hunt is very plausible, as I don't see it being difficult to make models for both the Sand People and the Jawas. Clearly, shorter character models are not an issue, as shown with the Ewoks, and the Tuskens could just be given their robes and their lovely faces as a basic skin. This mode would be pretty tense, as the Tuskens have the long range advantage while the Jawas have the short range, and that contrast would be pretty interesting to see play out. Quick note, as I'm going through the list, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know which idea for hunt mode is your favorite and which you'd most like to see added to Battlefront 2. In the number 4 slot, we have Wookie Hunt. I think Wookie Hunt would play out nearly identically to Ewok Hunt, just replace the Stormtroopers with the Wookiees and the Ewoks with Super Battle Droids. 18 Wookiees and 2 Droids at the start, with the Droids hunting down the Wookiees until they're all eliminated and the Wookiees trying to survive until clone reinforcements come to pick them up in an LAAT. Wookiees would be equipped with their Bowcasters and the Supers would have their wrist cannons. The map would be the beachhead section of Kachihiro Beach on Kashyyyk. Now the next two are pretty out there, but cool because they're based on extended pieces of canon. At number 3 we have Clone Hunt. If you're a fan of the Clone Wars TV series, you may recognize a similar scenario which took place in Season 6. It would look a little something like this. There would be 18 clones and 2 Kaminoans at the start. The premise is that the Kaminoans deem this clone unit defective, and they are trying to hunt them down for decommissioning. The clones are trying to survive until their medical droid buddy can access the codes to the Kaminoan pods in the hangar to escape the planet. Clones would have DC-15As with flashlights and the Kaminoans would use a melee move, taking advantage of their long reach. The Kaminoans could also have a syringe ability that causes their melee strikes to slow the clones down, as if they've been drugged. The map would be the cloning facility on Kamino, but the kicker is it's all dark, just like an Ewok hunt, with the Kaminoans having shut down the main power generator in an attempt to stop the clones from escaping. The lights in the facility would be either completely out or just barely flickering in certain spots, 
giving the scene an ominous horror movie type vibe. The Kaminoans creeping up on you in the dark with their long alien strides would be absolutely terrifying. Make it happen, Dice. Coming in at number two, we have something really cool. Quarren Hunt would add a completely new element to the game, that being underwater play. With 18 Sea Troopers and two Quarren at the start, the premise is the Sea Troopers are sent to harvest resources within the ruins of Dak City on the planet Mon Cala after the Battle of Dak City, which took place in a recent edition of the canon Darth Vader comic. The Quarren hunt down the Sea Troopers until they are all eliminated and the Sea Troopers try to survive until reinforcements are sent in to overrun the Dak City ruins. Sea Troopers would have standard E-11 blaster rifles with flashlights and the Quarren would use a close range spear. Quarren could also have underwater abilities such as scan and increased swim speed, as well as an ability where they can throw their spear on a retractable line for some mid-range combat. The map would be the underwater Dak City Ruins, which would be a completely new addition to Battlefront 2. Mon Cala is a very important planet to the Rebel Alliance. Getting the chance to see it in Battlefront would be incredible. Being underwater, I would say the map would be completely dark, hence the need for the troopers' flashlights. Quarren Hunt probably would have made number one if it were not for this last one, and you may have probably guessed what it is by now. That's right, we'd be executing Order 66 in Jedi Hunt. This one would be a little bit different. I think it should play similar to Blast, with an equal number of Jedi and clones on each side. The kicker would be that the clones have unlimited reinforcements, but the Jedi would only get 50 or maybe 100 tickets. Clones hunt down Jedi until the tickets are completely depleted, but battle points would be used by the Jedi to select between different factions. We could have options of Jedi Padawans for no battle points, Jedi Knights for a thousand, and Temple Guards for two thousand. Jedi try to survive until Captain Rex, who has already removed his inhibitor chip, reaches the temple with an extraction. Jedi would have lightsabers and force abilities such as push, and the clones would have their DC-15As and grenades. The map would be the Jedi Temple on Coruscant, making for some excellent new Clone Wars content we would all love to see. And that's my list. Let me know what your favorite was, and if you have any idea of various hunt modes we could see, drop a comment below and share your ideas. If you didn't see a particular species or planet that may have felt obvious, I most likely didn't include it because the Aussie Jedi had it in his video, which again I encourage you to check out, the link for which is in the description. If you're a fan of my videos, consider becoming a subscriber today to stay up to date with all content from this channel. Give this video a like, hit subscribe, and ring the bell for all future notifications. Thank you all for joining me today, and I will see you all out on the battlefront. Peace. Yeah, we